So this was the question. These things were empty here. This, 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 everything here was empty. So this is the first part of the uh, question and answer, and this is the second part of the answer. So complete the reaction equation for the electron capture by 15, and this is oxygen. Number 15 here indicates 15 uh, pieces of nucleus, in nucleus, that is together neutrons and protons. Use a Z XN notation for isotopes, use the symbols alpha, beta, minus, plus, gamma for, for what not, as written here. So, electron, electron capture. So, you could Google this thing here to find what is that. So, if we have electron capture, what is this here? This here is some element, in this case electron. This here is number of neutron and proton put together. This here is number of protons only, or the number of electrons. And plus, this is the electron. There is no nucleus in the electron, so there it is zero for that. But here is minus one. And because of that, you will get, this is parent, this is, I think, offspring or whatnot, or element. It, it will have the same number of sum of proton and neutrons, but it will be one less neutron. How's that? Well, because one proton will turn into neutron with help of this electron. So this is the electron capture. In this specific situation, you have oxygen that has 15 protons and neutrons. From that, you have eight protons and combined with that one electron, that one proton will become neutron. As you can see, this number here is the same. But it will have one less proton. A number of protons will show us that this thing here is not longer oxygen. It became nitrogen. And that is reality. Transmutation. And that's how you make the gold from lead. Okay, something similar, doesn't matter. So, that is that, nothing more here. So, in this notation here, as you can see, this is the sum of protons and neutrons. This is the number of protons, but here you have number of neutrons also. That plus one electron will get us now set this number here, sum of protons and neutrons will be the same, but we will have one less neutron and one more, one less proton and one more neutron. And we get hydrogen, oh, nitrogen. From oxygen we get nitrogen and this is here is neutrino. And energy released and in form of the X-ray. And some is lost by neutrino. So, how much energy is released? You could do that yourself. Mass defect is the key. Or for complete written answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. Thank you. Bye.